Hey everybody, GC13 here. It's a very common misconception among Steven Universe fans that the pearl originally belonged to White Diamond before eventually being given to Pink. Well, it's not true. Pearl was made specifically for Pink, and that's that. They definitely aren't crazy for thinking it, though. People had been predicting that Pearl belonged to White Diamond long before we met the Diamond Matriarch, though I will say that Legs From Here to Homeworld really kicked that speculation into high gear. Just look at the first two diamonds we met, and their pearls. Yellow Diamond has yellow skin, and her gem is in her chest. Her pearl also has yellow skin, and her gem is in her chest. It's the same with Blue Diamond. She has blue skin, and her gem is in her chest, just like her pearl. That means that, based on the Arrow 1 Diamond Authority symbol, we would expect her pearl to have pink skin, and her gem to be in her stomach. We didn't know much about White Diamond before Legs From Here to Homeworld, but we knew she had white skin, and that her gem was in her forehead. Exactly the configuration we see in Pearl, a gem we knew to be a particularly fancy example of a Pearl, based on Peridot's assessment. It was only natural to think that, just maybe, our Pearl used to belong to White Diamond. It was never a sure thing, though. There were arguments against it, even at the time. Pearl spacesuit, for instance, had the same pink diamond on it she would have had if she had been in Pink's court. But the theory got a new lease on life when we met White's Pearl in Legs From Here to Homeworld, and we saw that stomach gem that we were expecting Pink's Pearl to have. Even her character design was something you'd expect from Pink Diamond's Pearl. Now we could explain how Pearl had been in Pink's court while having served White. The pearls must have been swapped at one point. Pearl didn't clear matters up herself either, with how quick she was to warn Stephen about White Diamond. White Diamond isn't like us. She isn't even like them. You have no idea what she's capable of. All of the Diamond's Pearls would know White, of course, but Pearl seemed to have special knowledge of her. Later it would turn out she was just really freaked out about the fate of Pink's Pearl, especially since she assumed White was responsible for the damage to her face. But it would take Joe Johnston to clarify that Pearl had never served anyone but Pink, having been created specifically for her. And it looks like that was decided well before we met White. The show made some changes to its original plans, going with Pink's Pearl being taken away from her for some transgression of Pink's, as opposed to being destroyed by the Diamonds for daring to express Pink's frustrations. But the original plan also mentioned that a new, more sensible Pearl was custom-ordered and delivered to Pink. The core of Pearl's backstory was left untouched, even if the reason for her creation changed a bit. This is a piece of lore that will unfortunately forever need things like the art book's old timeline and the word of the crew, to provide a bit of clarity, we can't shut all that out and look to only the show and say with 100% certainty that this was always the plan. But what we can do is look for something in-universe to corroborate it, and I think that Joe told us exactly where to start. Pink's ability to order Pearl to keep a secret. According to Joe, this is something that only applies to Pearl, and even then, only Pink can do it, because Pearl was made specifically for her. It's a bit of a dog that didn't bark situation. We've never seen any other diamond do this with any other gem. When Yellow's Nephrite captain was waffling on whether or not she would invade a planet, did Yellow simply order her as a diamond? Well, she did, but it didn't have the magical effect Pink's order did on Pearl. Instead, Yellow sprinkled in a threat to shatter the captain and her crew to get the job done, because that special effect is only baked into Pearl's. So, there you have it. There was no pearl swap, and a single pale rose proves it. No one but Pearl's original diamond could have forced her to keep a secret like that, and White Diamond never needed a pearl to feel superior to anyway. That's what Yellow and Blue were for. What do you guys think? Did you ever believe there had been a pearl swap? Do you believe Joe? Let me know down in the comments below. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more cartoon videos.